Wolf Man. He's on the loose. By Michelle Rawson and Chris Moore. Breathing by Avesta Azizawa Hanuman. People were running down the streets screaming, Look out! Look out! Wolfman has escaped! The people were right. Wolfman had broken out of his cage and now he was roaring and ramping around the town. Everyone was rushing to get indoors. They were very afraid. Outside, Wolfman was ripping up paving stones. He was bending into trees and eating lampposts. It was the most horrible thing ever. The Prime Minister said, Send in the army! But the army sent back a message. It said, Sorry, we can't come. We're too scared. Things looked bad. Wolfman was heading down the Copper's Road. People were looking out from behind their curtains. Please, please, please don't come near our house! Wolfman! They were thinking. But Wolfman marched on. Where was Wolfman going? To the park? No. To the swimming pool? No. The people saw Wolfman was heading to for the house where the chef of police lived. And the chef of police was in the back room, hiding behind the armchair. Wolfman marched on, nearer and nearer to the house of, of the chef of police. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The ground was shaking. Please, please, please go away, Wolfman, the chef of police stopped, but Wolfman didn't stop. Wolfman got to the garden gate in front of the chef of police's house. Wham! He kicked over up the garden path. Stomp! 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 Up to the door. Help! 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 The chef of the police screamed from, the be from behind the door. Wolfman bent down and looked through the letter box. The chef of police looked up and saw Wolfman's eyes. What do you want, Wolfman? The chef of police called out. Just say, what do you want? There was a moment's silence. And then, in a little moany voice, Wolfman said, Can I use your toilet?